This is BC Spritch, your look at the province's burgeoning distilling culture. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to BC Spirits. I'm your host, of course, Sean Sewell. Um, this week, I'm sort of, I am under self-imposed sort of lock-in. I haven't done a lot of liquor store runs in the last little while because of the obvious reasons. Um, so if you haven't, if you've been following, I've been doing Spirit a Day, which is dipping into my collection and picking out things that may not fit into a category that they should. Um, because I'm not doing like episode after episode after episode. This week, I decided to re delve into barrel aged gins um, and if you remember correctly I've done one barrel aged gin episode months at well almost a year ago now um, and I did 14 <laughs> barrel aged gins which is just insane so what I wanted to do is I wanted to revisit barrel aged gins picked out five of the ones that I really really enjoyed um, just for different profile reasons so I picked out some very specifically different ones um, for you to sort of listen to and watch so for first up um, barrel aged gin has become very popular. Um, historically wise, the barrel aged gin movement in North America sort of started with Ransom's Old Tom. Um, and the reason why they say Old Tom was barrel aged was basically that uh, Old Tom from the New Old World, i.e. England, would have been put into barrels to be shipped to the New World, i.e. America, back in the day. So by the time it arrived, it would have had some barrel aging to it. Um, do I agree necessarily that that's a definition of Old Tom? I think it's a definition of American Old Tom. Um, I don't think it's a definition of Old Tom because Old Tom in the U in the UK is uh, what it is, sweet, slightly sweetened, but lightly botanical gin. So that's the story theory behind barrel-aged gins. And I think the very first barrel-aged gin in BC uh, back in the day would have been the Victoria Spirits Barrel Oaken Gin. Um, and that came out oh, 2000 and... I want to say 2010, 2011, maybe a bit sooner. Um, great product, but one of the first in the province. Since then, as I said, I did 14 barrel agents, and I think there's more out there that I haven't tried. Um, so I wanted to delve back into it. I picked out five of my, I, don't, I wouldn't say my top five, but five that I thought of kind of like because they've all got different flavor profiles and they're all very specific to the distillery that they made. So let's kick it off. First one up is the uh, barrel aged uh, gin from Steelhead. Now, Stillhead is a distillery here in Duncan on the island, on Vancouver Island. Um, they do fantastic stuff. They're really focusing in on whiskey and uh, and like Calvados, so whiskey and, and fruit spirits, um, which is great. But their barrel aged gin is fantastic. Super light. I think they only did this for six months. I think it's only six months in, uh, in a barrel. Super, super short age, and as you can tell from the color. It's very light. This is why I picked this one as the very start. On the nose, you automatically gain juniper. Now, the juniper really works really well with the um, juniper. Really works well with wood. Uh, juniper can be come can be woody, can be citrusy, but when it's that piney, cut wood sort of uh, tone for the juniper, it just plays really nicely with the oak. Oh, spicy, citrusy. The oak is there, but it's not prevalent. The oak is there as a, an ad, I would call it an added botanical, not necessarily a, an ing, a, a flavor profile. Whoa, that's spicy all the way back. Uh, what's the alcohol content? 43%, yeah. So that spice is coming from the barrel. It's playing really well with the juniper. The citrus is there that really like kicks off the, and really makes it bright and playful in your mouth. As a, as a barrel aged gin, Super light on the barrel aging, not too crazy. <sighs> really flavorful though. Gives you a nice kick, but it doesn't feel like you're you're sucking on matchsticks like you do with a lot of barrel aged products. So next up, noteworthy. Now I've done a lot of noteworthies lately. Um, I did the Navy Strength the other day for a Spirit a Day. Um, noteworthy is the one thing I I love about Noteworthy is that Steve Lee, the distiller, is not shy in saying that he created gin for non -drin gin dr nah. created a gin for non drink gin, gin drinkers oh if i can say that five times fast um, so the thing is is that he created gin i would say similar to like your hendrix and that sort of things gins that are gateway gins for people to start enjoying it um, he created it cuz he didn't like gin and he wanted to make gin while he was making whiskey um, and we've tasted some of his whiskies his whiskies are fantastic so this is the barrel rested mm 
Now, Noteworthy's gin is very floral, uh, very lavender, very, very in-your-face lavender-y sort of kick. On the nose, again, this is taking the, the entry-level Noteworthy and tweaking it to be something completely different, and the barrel agent just gives it that. Wow. You're still getting all the, the flavor profiles of Noteworthy, but again, that barrel is an added botanical, not an added flavor profile. It's playing really nicely with all the other, with all the other spirits, uh, with all the other uh, botanicals and flavors in the gin in such a way that it opens up the gin more and more so. And the barrel resting actually like brings out more pomelo skin, which I think I got out of the navy strength, more like grapefruit skin with a hint of the floral notes. And the floral tones again are that citrus notes, like the citrus um, flower. So like orange blossom and that, that sort of thing that's coming through in the palette. Next up is a uh, is Liberty Distillies uh, Liberty Distillings Endeavor Gin Old Tom. So this is the barrel aged Old Tom, like we said in the very start of the episode. This is what North America is sort of defining as Old Tom. Is this barrel rested Old Tom style where it would have been aged on the trip over from England. Oh, wow. The barrel is giving this, this one a, a really spicy kick, like all over my palate. Christmas spice just come to mind straight away, like cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon, all in the mouthfeel. The, the barrel is definitely a bit more forward on this one. And the gin sort of sits equally, but secondarily. So it's on the same level, but just a little bit down, I suppose. Um, the gin is there. It's coming through on the final palate, but that, that barrel spice that comes through the initial punch of barrel spice is insanely cr crazy. Um, beautiful, beautiful product. But as we see the transition of like the barrels being a little bit more of a botanical flavor, like an addition, um, this one is like with the botanicals, like the, the barrel is definitely like kicking it in some like serious spice there is a little bit of residual sweetness there which you would get from an old tom but like it's definitely residual in a way that like it's the barrels taken on a lot of that um but really spicy really barrel forward the next two the liberty and the, the next one um try in a old-fashioned style drink with like a chai tea syrup or something like that play around with these syrups in your bitters and you can get a really good flavor profile so that lets us to next the next one on society wallflower i think this was like the second or third maybe barrel aged gin in the province because old society has been around for long enough um i remember using this a ton at olo back in the day so 2015 um their wallflower again wallflower is super citrusy and floral notes um and then this in the barrel Citrus tones on the nose straight away. Hints of floral tones, but nothing too crazy like fresh flowers. Whew! Again, barrel spice. But this one, the gin's taken over a little bit. In the front palate, you gain a ton of the barrel spice. And then you're getting sort of the... The, the kick of gin, the, the classic wall flavor, wall flower flavor, kicks straight over the top. So lots of citrus, hints of floral tones, and then it finishes really nice and herbal, like a, a nice spice, cardamony, that sort of thing. Cardamony is a descriptor, it should be. Um, so you gain a really nice, like super herbal sort of finish or spice finish at the end of it all. Next up is the, the last one and the weirdest one we have out of the whole selection, which is this bad boy. Now, this is their last year's vintage. Actually, this is barrel on 2018. So I might be two I might be two batches behind, to be honest. This is the single barrel uh, rose gin from Resurrection. I think it's one of my favorite gins 
barrel aged gins in the province. Oh, it's been a while since I opened this. Oh, here we go. So, they age it in cab sab barrels. So, rye, rye based spirits, rye based spirit, so it only uses rye, aged in, uh, aged in cab sab barrels. I believe this one is cab sab barrels, yeah. So I think this is actually, I think there's another batch out now, which I taste, which is very, very different. You know my love for the wine finishes. This is kind of cool because I've never tasted, like you've never tasted a wine barrel finished uh, gin. On the nose, actually you get the structure of the rye grain uh, and the rye spirit straight up on the nose. And then you gain hints of aromatics on the nose, but then you gain that very, very strong wine barrel finish on the palate. Oh, sorry, on the nose, like that, that sweet berries, um, hints of oak, but sweet berry sort of tones. Wow. <sighs> Taking some breaths. Wow. So, the rye spirit is there. Distinct rye spirit. I'm really looking forward to seeing Resurrection bring out some aged whiskeys because I've, I've tasted a few out of the barrel and they definitely have that um, uh, distillery specific terroir that I've been talking about when it comes to whiskeys. You get it in the spirit as well. There's a definite play flavor that is resurrection like there's a there's a flavor profile through all their spirits that is dignified uh, designates to resurrection the rice spirits right there you get this beautiful berry-esque sort of finish the, the the wine class just fills your mouth and then the botanicals are there but they're in a way that they're sort of pulling both the the rye spirit and the the wine cast together in a beautiful meld it just works really well together. And that rye spirit is just so fantastic. And then the cask is finished fantastic. This is a great little number you need to get just for the rarity of it all. Um, I know there's a few liquor stores kicking around that have the new batch, which I need to get a bottle of so I can try it side by side. So there's barrel aged uh, gins. A lot shorter than the last time I did it. I think I did 14 gins in something like half an hour, which is just freaking mental. Um, but you got everything from super light uh, barrel style which are great for subbing in on your regular cocktails to add something to it. Like it's going to really work. Citrus is going to be a difficult one, um, but play around with it. Some of them are going to go great with citrus. Some are not so much. Then you've got two that are going to be fantastic and old fashioned style drinks playing around with these syrups, to like lean into chai and those sort of things, which I've done in the past. And then the rose gin, which is just going to change your life. I think your rose gin, if you, this one will definitely work with, your white ladies and that sort of thing. Um, I think it's a perfect gin for that. So there's five barrel aged gins that I, I did in the past, but I wanted to revisit and retaste. Um, I absolutely love these products. So guys, a couple of things. Follow uh, follow me on Instagram, BC Spirits. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, obviously where, where you're watching it right now. Um, Spirited BC is coming up April 27th. So on that day, I want you to be buying, picking up, delivering, online ordering, whatever you possibly need to get uh, to support BC Distillery as much as possible. I'll have hashtags coming out very shortly for that. Um, at always support local, especially in this time. This time's a horrible freaking time. Online sales, online sales, online sales, as much as possible. Go to the uh, BC Spirits uh, blog. You'll see a, a post dedicated to Spirited BC and all the online set, all the online stores that are available right now. Have a good week, guys. I'll see you very soon. Uh, see you next week. Bye.